I don't know, but I have this nasty habit of taking new things and trying to make them look old. I just love that look, this antique look. And I love taking something that's plain and turning it into something that I think is spectacular. And I'm going to show you how to do that with some cylinder glass vases from IKEA. These are super, super easy to find. They come in all different sizes. They're inexpensive. And there are so many different things that you could do with it. What I decided to do was to create kind of a little corner of ambiance, a little corner of light, if you will. And what I did is I picked up some spray paint. This particular one that you're looking at here is called the, the it's looking glass, and it literally, literally is like, like mirrored spray paint. And I sprayed the inside of these vases and made them look antique. Okay, and I got a little light in there. I'll show you in just a second. I couldn't do it here in the studio because it was kind of messy, so I went outside this morning with my photographer Zane and we went outside and I kind of I'm going to walk you through the process okay so first of all you want to clean out the inside of your vase we want to move all the dust particles any oils from your fingers then you're going to make the solution it's one part vinegar three parts water and you're going to put it in, 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 in a container and then just lightly spray it inside the vase and then quickly spray paint inside the vase while it's still wet and that is the whole idea that is what it's going to give you that kind of antique look to it then look at that right there I just love that I think that is so gorgeous I mean with very simple inexpensive glass vases you can use them as a vase but I decided to use them as lighting I picked up it, IKEA also has these little lights right here, these little handheld lights, they're little push lights, and I put them inside each vase and then set them in the corner of a room. So they have, they come in different colors too. They have silver, um, off-white, and black, okay? But um, so a couple of batteries, put them on the inside, and it creates this awesome, awesome look. Now here's what I decided. I thought maybe I'd try it in a couple of different ways. I'd try it in gold as well. And because the lights are kind of bluish, I thought, you know what, I, I don't know if I really like them as much in, in the gold color as I do the silver color. But in, the, in a room where it's dark and, and you just want that little bit of lighting, can we bring the uh, house lights down just a little bit? And you'll just see, it just gives it this beautiful glow, especially the silver ones. Ooh, ah, right? Thank you, yeah. And they, they, they come up, they, they're beautifully uh, lit over the top here and they come up and they, they shine up on the ceiling and shine up on the walls and create this really, really beautiful light. And they're so inexpensive to do. So you, when you're done with your lights, just push them off like that and uh, you know, leave them for another day and you are good to go. It's that simple, okay? So I have all of the instructions on the website and if you love this project and you want to do it for yourself you can get more inspiration just like this when you visit IKEA in Tempe they're located off I-10 at Warner Road or you can visit their website at IKEA.com and you can also sign up for their family card it's free and you'll get notices of specials and upcoming discounts. Well,